You're watching Wisconsin Women. I'm Janet Crescent here with Lee Aker, and today we're filming at Evolution Body Transformation. Lee and I look forward to chatting with those folks later in the program. Right now, though, if you've been thinking of a career change where you'd get diverse opportunities, extensive training, and community impact, the Madison Police Department may just have an opening for you. Joining us right now is Sergeant Teresa Maguera. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. Of so course. you guys have some openings. We do. Tell us about that. Yeah, we are currently hiring for our uh, May 2025 Academy, uh, looking for people who are interested in serving the community um, to become entry-level police officers and start our academy next May. And why do you think, like, if there is somebody watching and is intrigued about this, why do you, like, promote the Madison Police Department? Not just because you work there, but also, <laughs> yes. like, what does that also do for the community? Yeah. And her boss is probably watching. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. So for me, uh, Madison Police Department has so many opportunities. And I hear this constantly from applicants and also now officers that we've hired. They love the office, the opportunities that officers have. So yes. you can be a community policing officer. You can be a neighborhood police officer. Mm -hmm. We have a mental health unit. We have mounted patrol, canine handlers, our special events team. Um, and so there, and many more, yes. like it doesn't stop there. And so I feel like a lot of people come to us because of the absolute amazing opportunities mm -hmm. that we can offer at that level. And it's really a way to connect with your community and serve if you didn't grow up here, then to make this your community and serve it that way. Yeah. Oh, Those that. are some good points. I think people sometimes forget about the the, the breadth of uh, the mm -hmm. positions available. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. Now, Teresa, you're a mom. Yes, and I you're am. a sergeant on the police yes. department. Mm -hmm. What is that like to try to manage those two together? Yeah, so I feel like we have a great group of moms and uh, people who have families that want to work for us. And so I think for me, it was uh, not not choosing between having a family and also becoming a sergeant. I think that's important that women see that we can do it all um, in a way. And I think it's really important um, for young women who are considering this career to not limit yourself that you have to stay at home and raise kids if that's not what you want to do. Uh, something that's special about Madison is when I had my children, I was able to come back to work in a flexible option because we know how difficult postpartum can be. And so the support of our command staff, I was able to work a partial schedule and get me back to work so that uh, my body healed and recovered. Yeah. And also I was there to be there in the first few months of my child's life. So I think that that makes us really special compared to some other careers and some other um, departments locally. Um, I think that's so important to know that and for, for people out there to know that and realize that because, and then you also feel like sometimes I think women feel a little bit isolated if they mm -hmm. are stay at home moms. And this is an opportunity also, like you said, to give back to the community, to be involved in the community. Yeah. What is it like a, a day in the life of, of you? <laughs> I mean, I'm a little, I guess, different than most people on the department. So I have a training uh, sergeant position where I supervise the recruits. Um, Mine's a little bit different it's as, as more of an administrator, an administrative position. But really what I've heard from and people and when I look back to my patrol days, every day is different. And so if you're looking for a career that you'll never have the same call or the same day twice, this is absolutely what you should look into because there's just so many people out there that you can make connection with and um, help in, in a really significant time of need in their life. And so um, it's very, to me, special. Mm -hmm. I feel like one minute you can be grabbing a cup of coffee at your local uh, coffee shop, and the next minute maybe you're at the mall helping somebody who has lost their purse or has gotten their car broken into. Um, and so I really think there's such a breadth of calls and yeah. such opportunities to meet and interact with the community in ways that a lot of places don't get to have. It's not a desk job. You yeah. definitely don't <laughs> sit behind a desk all day and um, you definitely get all your steps in if that's your thing too. So it's a very active job. Yeah, and very rewarding it sounds yes. like. Yeah, Great. absolutely. Yeah. All right, so you're hiring for the 2025 mm -hmm. Um, springtime yes. class. Yes. Let's talk about the application. It's it's kind of a, a big 
big application. Yes. So you need to get started early if you're yes. interested. What's <laughs> the deadline and how do they get started? Yeah, so our deadline is November 18th. And the best way to get started is probably contact our recruiting officer, Paige Decent. She's been on here before. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have her email address or at least a way to contact um, her on this program, I'm yeah. sure. Um, also go to our website. It's a significantly long application. It's not like other jobs. And so we want to know about you and we want to know um, your interests and also things that make you special and stand out compared to the other people that are also applying. All right. So, thank thank you. you very much. Yeah, Good luck with you your both. recruits. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll be right back after this commercial break.